Tronador Spanish for Thunderer is a series of Argentine rockets, including the Tronador I and Tronador II vehicles, to develop a liquid propellant rocket expendable launch system called ISCUL Injector Satellital de Cargas Utiles Ligeras, Light Payloads Satellite Launcher. The Tronador I is an unguided liquid-fueled rocket used for sub-orbital spaceflight test flights. Its development led to the larger VEX test rocket, testing technologies needed for the Tronador II, which has a guidance system and would be capable of reaching low Earth orbit. Development of the satellite launch vehicle has cost more than $600 million over several years. Tronador I The Tronador I is an unguided liquid-fueled rocket used for sub-orbital spaceflight test flights. Topic: <laughs> Tronador I T1. The Tronador I T1 vehicle was flown successfully on June 6, 2007, from Puerto Belgrano Naval Base near Bahia Blanca, in the southeast of the Buenos Aires province. This was the first flight of a technology demonstrator vehicle for the program. Topic: <laughs> Characteristics. <laughs> Length 3,400 mm. Stages 1. Total takeoff mass 60 kg. Payload mass 4 kg. Thrust X10S 500 kg force. Topic Tronador IB T2. The Tronador IB T2 vehicle was flown successfully on August 5, 2008 from Puerto Belgrano Naval Base. This was the second technology demonstrator vehicle flown for the program. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characteristics. Length: 3400 mm. Stages 1 Total takeoff mass 60 kg Payload mass 4 kg Apogee 15 to 20 km Thrust 10S 1500 kg force Topic VS30 This was the first cooperative test flight between Comisión Nacional de Actividades Espaciales and Brazilian Space Agency. It was successfully flown in December 2007, Operation Angicos. The payload built by CONAE carried several experiments to validate subsystems for the program such as IMU, inertial measurements unit that used IFOGs, GPS receptor for navigation, all integrated into the onboard computer and an attitude control system via cold gas thrusters. The payload unit completed a suborbital flight carried by an AEB built VS 30 solid propellant rocket booster, and was then recovered from the sea after landing with parachutes. Characteristics Length 3,288 mm payload module Stages 1 VS30 booster Total takeoff mass 1500 kg Payload mass 242 1 kg Apogee 120 to 160 km Specific impulse 266 S VS30 booster Topic Tronador two 
Tronador II's maiden orbital launch is expected to fly in 2019, from Puerta Belgrano Naval Base. Characteristics As of June 2016, the proposed Tronador II configuration Length – 28 m Stages – 2 Diameter – 2.5 m Empty mass – 5,100 kg Total weight – 67,000 kg Payload mass – 250 kg Apogee – 600 km Lower stage – 90 t total thrust engines at sea level. Fuel – RP-1, LOX Upper stage – 1.4 t to 4 t thrust single pressurized engine at sea level 2 t to 5.5 t in vacuum fuel monomethyl hydrazine mmh n204 topic other proposals the initial proposal was for a three stage rocket in early 2015 an evolved configuration was presented at the 52nd committee on peaceful uses of ultra terrestrial space meeting and at the punta indio test launch pad first stage 90000 kg 3 by 30000 kg second stage 30000 kg third stage 4000 kg thrust Topic: Tronador II prototypes. Topic: T4000. The T4000, Tronador T4000 Pathfinder rocket test rocket is related to the project as it is the basis of the third stage of the Tronador II. Specifically, it was intended to house the attitude control system, thrust vector control (TVS). The first launch attempt in 2011 failed. Characteristics diameter: 4, 38 meters. Thrust 4000 kg approximately 40 kN Impulse time 10 seconds Topic <laughs> Vex The recent strategy was to fly separately several suborbital experimental subsystems called Vex before they are incorporated in the prototype of the Tronador 2 rocket after a few launches, it was decided in 2017 to stop the experimental VEX series as enough data was obtained to go ahead with a prototype rocket. VEX 1A In March 2014, a suborbital prototype named VEX 1A failed during launch from Pipinus, Punta Indio Partido. It had only one stage, weigh 2.8 tons, thrust of 4 ton, 60 seconds mission duration, expected apogee of 2 km. VEX-1A first launch attempt was postponed in December 2013 due to ground support equipment fail. The second attempt failed on February 26, 2014. It was discovered that the failure was caused by interferences between the launch pad and the rocket, which prevented the vehicle from elevating more than 2 meters off the ground. The engine control mechanism shut off the fuel valve, preventing an explosion, and the rocket fell down next to the pad. VEX-1B the first flight of this suborbital vehicle was on 15 August 2014 from Pipinus, Punta Indio Partido. It successfully tested propulsion, control, and navigation subsystems. 
2,200 meters apogee, 27 seconds flight time. It landed in the sea assisted by the recovery parachutes. The vehicle was recovered and examined to determine whether further VEX-1 test rockets are required or if a VEX-2 flight should be implemented. VEX-5A VEX-5A was a two-stage suborbital rocket that was destroyed upon launch. The T-10 first stage is capable of producing 11 T of thrust, while the T-4 second stage is capable of 4 T of thrust. The rocket was 18 m long and 1.5 m diameter, with a total launch weight including fuel of 8,500 kg. The rocket would have separated from the first stage the propellants are liquid oxygen, RP1, at 15 km altitude and the second stage would have continued, reaching up to 30 km altitude using hydrazine, nitric acid. The vehicle would have tested several technologies, new fuels, and for the first time, the separation of two stages rocket mechanical and automatic aspects, and the ignition of the second stage in flight. The rocket was completed in mid-2015 and scheduled to launch in October 2015, and then November 2016. The test flight finally occurred on 21 April 2017, 1800 local time from Pipinas, Punta Indio Partido. The rocket climbed up from its pad, but eight seconds later the first stage rocket engine shut down due to abrupt flow in its fuel lines. Several seconds later, the rocket fell and impacted the launch pad, causing a fiery explosion. The ill-fated launch was announced officially by CONAE several hours after the launch and footage from several angles were made available. <laughs> VEX-5B Test flight, single stage 30T thrust engine rocket. It was projected for a 2018 launch from Pipinas, Punta Indio Partido. The mission was cancelled in 2017. <laughs> VEX 5C Test flight, two stage test rocket. First stage 30T thrust engine, second stage VEX-1 engine, it was projected for a 2019 launch from Puerta Belgrano Naval Base. The mission was cancelled in 2017. <laughs> Tronador 3 The proposed Tronador 3 would have the same diameter as Tronador 2, but would have a length of 34 meters (112 feet). The fueled rocket would weigh 89 metric tons and capable of delivering a ton of payload into polar orbit. Topic: See also List of rockets Comparison of orbital launch systems <laughs>